Welcome to the 24th episode of Tuesdays with Toby. My name is Toby Frierson and I am delighted, I'm honored to be back before you again today. Thank you all for tuning in for part two of No Way I Survive. If you missed part one on last week, please hop back over there because I was laying the foundation for something that very tragically happened to me two years ago this month. And I wanted to finally tell the story. I wanted someone to find strength in it. I wanted someone to find courage in it. And I also wanted someone to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are being watched over. There are certain things as angels. And honestly, once you see what I have to show you today, I think the proof's gonna be in the pudding. As we do each week, it's time for us to say our family rules. So look behind me, ready, read. During Tuesdays with Toby, we will use kind words do your best, always be honest, forgive and forget, be happy, count your blessings, laugh at yourself, stay positive, and love one another. Today, we're just going to have a really brief introduction with me right here, but then we're going to flip into a live video, live from June 14th, 2019, which is about seven days or so after the incident with the tree, and you all are going to see me see in real time the state of my vehicle as uh, my friend who was taking care of me after the accident takes me to the junkyard to retrieve personal belongings. So that's really all the setup you need right now. Let's take a quick look at this video and then I'll come back before you. It is. Good morning, Facebook. Um, I contemplated whether I was gonna do this or not. Um, and I am. Uh, many of you, but not all of you for sure, because I didn't want to speak to you guys until I could um, know that last Friday I was in Atlanta um, for a graduation. It's one of my students actually from Erskine. He was completing residency. Super excited to come celebrate with him. And um, after we finished up at Morehouse School of Medicine, congratulations, Dr. Smith. We were on our way to dinner um, at a restaurant and a rainstorm had come up um, prior to uh, that dinner and so we were all driving from Morehouse in the rain um, but right when I turned on this random road in in Atlanta Peters Road um, a big gust of wind came up and I so through the rain I was like oh man I was like wow that rain is really coming down um, and as soon as I said the rain's coming down I saw a bunch of wind and then from seeing a bunch of wind I saw a tree um, and after I saw the tree I knew when I saw the tree that it was falling um, it did fall um, it fell, um, and I guess I had enough time to react. I'm in the, um, I'm in the yard right now. I am, um, looking at this car for the first time. Um, we just got here. Um, y'all may or may not be able to hear me talking right now, but, um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. That was the tree. Okay. Wow. Oh, Father. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Um, guys, I kind of wanted you to see this in the moment when I was seeing it because. Those of you who know me and who know me well, um, you would probably say, oh, Toby knows exactly why she's here. Man, she's, she gets to operate in her giftings and her calling and her purpose. She knows firmly who she is and what she's supposed to be doing in life. Um, and you could probably say that because I would have told you that. And from what you've seen of me, it appeared that that's, that was true. What I can tell you right now in this moment <laughs> And what I will tell you when I get a chance to sit with you guys and visit with you and, and laugh with you again and be silly with you again is I do not know how or why I'm talking to you right now, how I walked out of this. Um, I never lost consciousness through this accident, guys. Um, I'm just going to go back to the top of the truck again because I'm standing here like, are you serious right now? That's all I got for you. I just wanted you guys to see this when I saw it.
Oh, there's my yellow blazer when I told the guy, hey, sir, it's raining. Can you cover up my head? So there's my blazer. Uh, uh, the, uh, you got my keys. Thank goodness. I, I was hoping I had keys. Um, I was hoping I had keys. Huh, convertible Yukon. Go figure. Um, uh, so yeah, I was in the driver's side right there where you see the jacket. And like I said, because I saw the tree coming, I bent over and, um, yeah. Oh, well, we got impact still in place and we got Armstrong, which doesn't exist still in place. So, uh, <laughs> there's, there can't be any messages there. Armstrong, you're gone. Impact, you're still in place. I, I will, I will take, I will take it impact. Um, okay. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I was going to try to get my bowling balls. Well, is this the front of the car? I suppose. Uh, sure it is. Oh, and look who made it through the accident. Huh. My parents would be glad to see this. Oh. What happened? Uh, mom and dad made it. Yeah, right here. Who else? Another photo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and me and mom. How fitting. The, why are these photos in my car? I don't know. So, so we can't get to my, my bowling ball. It should have been right here. Um, so, oh, it's, stick, it's sticking up. There it is. Guys, there's a bowling ball. See the handle? We got to get these balls out. Yeah, one of them is 40 years old. It was my dad's ball, and I had the holes repurposed for me. Um, so, you said you got the car keys? So, Georgia Southern, I didn't lose any of your keys. Uh, Impact, I didn't lose any of your keys. Uh, that's a five to get into the neighborhood. Okay. My tumbler that I just got for. Uh, where's my tumbler? If that tumbler made it, man, we need to write Yeti. We need to write Yeti. Y'all see the tumbler? Any of you who see me walking around, I carry this guy all the time. So, so yeah. Kimberly, slide out really quickly because I'm really trying to figure out how I was sitting in this truck and, like, granted, and um, I apologize. I don't know if I fully told you guys the extent of my injuries. I mean, shoot, all y'all know who are watching this is that. Um, I'm actually standing up talking to you. Oh, Chris Hodges gave us this book um, when we went to Birmingham. Yeah, there's a lot of glass. Chris, I was almost finished, buddy. I would gotten to, uh, well, I was trying to figure out what was next for me. Um, and I'd gotten to like page 140. All right. So uh, we're going to stop this right now. I'll get on later to, to post more so I can tell you guys about this journey. And I, I do not know what the second half of my life is about to be about. I don't. I'm turning 40 in December. Um, I'd actually already had plans for a new vehicle, um, but not a new truck. I, lo I loved my truck, and I was going to actually get a vehicle. A, ve a vehicle, um, clearly. Um, I'm not buying a car right now. I'm not. I want, I want the biggest, sturdiest thing I can have. Um, but back to the extent of the injuries. Um, I, I mentioned earlier, I... I, I had kept consciousness the whole time. I actually pressed the freaking OnStar button for emergency. Um, I'm sure that's not what got emergency vehicles out there, but I did. I was able to do that. I immediately moved my hands and feet to see if I could. Um, I knew that I was bleeding. Um, I didn't know it was from the head because I could see the blood um, and I could start to smell it. Um, and I talked my way all the way from the site uh, to Grady. And I've been at Grady since last Friday. Um, they repaired... Um, my neck, um, my, my neck was broken at the C5, um, and they fused the C4 to the C5 or to the C6 or something like that, took a disc out, and then I have 25 staples in the top of my head. Um, my 25 staples have come out on June 24th, and I'll also go back to the spine doctor. I am walking, guys. I'm talking. Um, I'm eating. Um, I will be in, Georgia, in, in this part of Georgia until I go back to the doctor. And, um, and I'm grateful. And I, and I am somebody who thought, thought I had it figured out as far as why I was here. I can assure you right now, I do not know why I'm here. I'm going to keep doing all the things that you guys know me to do and, and keep behaving the way in which you know me to behave. And I'm going to do that in an even better way. 
but I cannot tell you why I've been preserved through this. What I can tell you is I'm gonna get on my face and figure out why, and then you're gonna see me live that life from here on out. That's all I got for you guys. Um, I'm very, very overwhelmed right now. Um, if, uh, if any uh, Green Hill Baptist Church folks see this, if y'all don't hug my mom and my dad really big this weekend for me, um, particularly daddy on Father's Day, um, please say I'm gonna hug him really big. And if you guys have Marlo's number, make sure you reach out to him. He was in New Jersey when all this was going down because we had a family member getting married and it took him a minute to get to me, um, but he got to me in time for surgery. Um, and uh, Georgia Southern and Impact, love you guys so much. And uh, Aaron and Kim and D Group um, and Jessica, you guys all know what you've done through your prayers and through your presence. So um, I love you guys um, and I'm grateful. Wow, everyone. I'm just gonna kind of let that video sit right there. It, it said it all. Honestly, a lot of the things that I told you all in part one were restated in the video because that was a Facebook Live from two years ago. And of course, I never knew that I would have a YouTube channel and that I would have this platform to be able to share this story, this testimony, this moment of, if you guys did not believe that there is a God or a higher power, you name him what you want. I know what I call him. I know what my faith calls him. And I know that there is not a, a, a human explanation for why on June 14th, 2019, which is when that video was shot, and me having my neck repaired on June 10th, 2019, for me to be walking around, talking, narrating a video, pulling things out of a car, um, feeding myself, eating, all those things. There's no human explanation for that. I call that grace. I call that unmerited favor. And I cannot wait to tell you about all the in-between. So you heard on last week's episode, the beginning of the story. You just saw how it ended, kinda. You saw me 14 days, I'm sorry, you saw me seven days out from the actual incident and four days out from surgery. But I do wanna fill in those gaps for you. So I do want you all to like, share, and subscribe and see me here back next week for No Way I Survived Part 3. Go back and look at it again. See the miracle in all of this for yourself. I am so grateful. Thank you all for joining me.